lot of things can happen to the St. Louis Cardinals in the coming days, including, and I didn't know that this could be possible, and I still don't think it is, but apparently, according to the LA Times, the Dodgers and Cardinals have engaged in talks about a trade that would include Nolan Arenado. I don't know how true it is. I've thought this whole time along, there's absolutely, if there is one guy on the Cardinals that is not possibly going to be traded, I thought it was Arenado. I mean, the two untouchables that you put in that category for sure are, or the three, I would say, are Arenado, Goldschmidt, and probably Jordan Walker. Right. And, and Goldschmidt, I thought, was maybe a little more likely than Arenado, but definitely not very likely at all. Um, same thing with uh, Jordan Walker. But with the fact that Arenado's got a much longer contract, that he has a no-trade clause, I thought it was like 0.00. But apparently, according to this report, it might not be the case. No, now according to the report, the Dodgers have engaged in trade talks with the Cardinals to acquire Does not mean player. it's happening. Right. You know what that can mean? That can mean the Dodgers executive texted Mike Gersh and was like, hey, Nolan Arenado, what do you think? Nolan Arenado, Gersh, question mark? And Mike Gersh responded with like a laughing emoji. emoji. Technically, technically, if he laughs in his face, that's still engaged in talks. The Dodgers did engage the Cardinals at that point. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly what's happened. I think it's plausible that the Dodgers have spent the recent days throwing some names at the Cardinals because they do have a ton of of young pitching prospects and and talent on the rise. I think it's possible that the Dodgers have thrown out some of those names, but I don't think there is any way that the Cardinals trade Nolan Arenado. Yeah. Barring the Dodgers going absolutely berserk with the type of aggressive package that would have to cause the Cardinals to change their publicly stated direction of we're building at this deadline for pitching, 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 so that we can contend in 2024. Yeah. Not so that we can trade our best player for 2024. That would not be aligned with what the Cardinals have very publicly and very clearly discussed. Now, when Mo was asked at that press conference a couple weeks ago about guys like Arnado Goldschmidt, he said, look, I'm not going to do the game where I tell you somebody's untouchable because there's always an offer that, if it's made, like you, you're not going to refuse it. But I, there would have to be no part of it of the Dodgers doing what the Cardinals undoubtedly did to the Rockies and said, "Hey, look, Nolan Arenado's got all this money that someone's got to pay him. So if you want us to take this on, you're going to have to recognize that you're just not getting premium prospects back. We'll do this for you. We'll do you the solid, but it's not going to be the package that." We're giving up our farm system to do it. And the Cardinals didn't give up their farm system for Arenado. The Cardinals would have the leverage to say, wow me. Come up and come here and wow me, Dodgers, with don't worry about the ninety million or whatever it is that he's still owed for three more years. That's irrelevant. You're still paying your entire farm to do this deal. The Cardinals have no reason to start shouting expletives over the phone between John Bozalak and the, the Dodgers executives and say, Why would you even ask? Well, of course. Right teams are going to ask about good players but just because it's reported in the la times that they've engaged that the dodgers have engaged it's not like it says the cardinals have come crawling to the dodgers because they're ready to blow it up and unload nolan arenado so the way i read this is that yeah there's probably conversations that happen in every year every deadline andy there are conversations that happen that never see the light of day they never get publicly reported it doesn't mean they didn't happen but it also when you see reports like this it's very difficult because it comes up on my Twitter timeline, so it must be a big deal. No, it doesn't mean that the the talks are any further along than if they never were reported. I think that can be a really difficult thing to remember sometimes in these moments. But do I think the Cardinals are trading Nolan Arenado? No. I don't see any way that... I don't see how John Moselak can make that trade and keep his job. Like, I don't see how you... I don't see how that should be allowed. I tell you, I wouldn't allow for it. I would... I would I would go scorched earth as someone that covers this team and say, look, you can try and spin it all you want as, well, we knew we needed pitching, and the Dodgers, they just kept throwing talent on top of talent on top of talent to where we go, hey, it does free up some payroll. It does allow Jordan Walker to move to his natural position. It does uh, fix our pitching issues, and it, and it opens up money to maybe spend on other areas. Like, there is a way that it could be spun. The reason I'm even saying we should talk about it is because I've already seen the future 
of like the 0.001% chance this takes place where they spin it really effectively. It shouldn't be allowed to happen. Nobody no. should buy it. Nobody should buy it. You said you're contending for 2024. So don't get into a spot where, well, we were just overwhelmed because I have a feeling that if this trade did take place, which it will not, but if it did, it would be that mindset of there's a couple good prospects for pitching that they throw in and the Cardinals don't have to pay any of the Arenado money. The Dodgers are happy to do that. And then it's sold as, well, look what we did to fix our pitching. This was a really, you know, this was a big boon for the Cardinals and it hurts to lose a great player, but we really fixed it. No, John Mazalak's job was to have fixed the pitching in the offseason while retaining your best player, and that's his job again in this offseason. But if I'm Nolan Arenado, I'm not going to wait forever. So if I'm asked by reporters or if, if you know there's little things going on behind the scenes and his agent has made the statement that it's not true, the L.A. Times article said it's not true that Arenado would only waive his no trade to join the Dodgers, that's not true. That doesn't clarify and say he won't waive it at all. That Why would he say that? There's no reason for the agent to say that. There's no reason for the agent to say, yep, he'll only go to the Dodgers, and I'm going to change the leverage of my situation. Yeah, There's no reason for any of that to, to take place. So you've got to think about the other side of it. If I'm Nolan Arenado, man, and if people say, hey, would you waive your no-trade clause to go to the Dodgers? I'd be like, yeah, you know, it would be something I have to consider. I really want to win. Because what what happens? That gets back to the Cardinals, and Mosellock has to realize, man, maybe I should actually fix the pitching this offseason like I thought I did last offseason. It's pre- I mean, yeah. Arenado could be just applying pressure. There's a lot of reads on this situation, but mine is that the Cardinals are not trading Nolan Arenado over the next week. And if I'm wrong, it's going to be a lot of fun to talk about. <laughs> like it's going to be a completely different world that we would live in, and in in the dump button maybe not, use. Well, Chris, I, yeah. I'm just saying. And, and Wait here's a the minute. thing: we would. I'm just saying, brother. We also hold on. would not make fun of you for being wrong because it just seems so inconceivable. Like we're all going to be wrong on this if it actually ends up happening. Like, How much just, credit does John Mozeliak always want for, well, we traded for Goldie and Arenado? It's like, great, you don't get to turn around and say, well, we just really needed to leverage our assets in this way to fix our... I don't even know what would come out of his mouth. It would be complete and utter garbage if they would would do it. Unless, right, the unless is that how many top pitching prospects do the Dodgers have? Like, I don't know, four or five? I mean, Bryce yeah. Miller, I think it's Bryce Miller. There's a Miller on Seattle and a Miller on the Dodgers. There's uh, Emmett Sheehan. There's there's a, a number of guys, a whole bucket of them that are on the cusp for the Dodgers. You could trade all of them and then figure out a way to, to replicate. That, that article said Chris Taylor and Max Muncy would come back to the Cardinals potentially in a deal. And Max Muncy's hitting 198, but he has some good power, so whatever. But like you would, it would have to be so insane that it wouldn't make any reasonable sense for the Dodgers to even entertain it. That's the level... And that's the reason that in these press conferences, John Mozeliak doesn't ever say, well, he's untouchable. Because what if someone offers me something stupid? I got Arenado in the first place from the Rockies, didn't I? So Yeah, for it being offered been... something stupid, yes. <laughs> right. So uh, John Mozeliak wasn't wrong to, to not definitively say these guys aren't untouchable. But if they were to go back on their stated goal of contending for 2024, like, Andy, you can't trade Arenado and not also trade Goldschmidt. You think Paul Goldschmidt's going to want to stay? Oh, no. If he knows Arenado's yeah, leaving, either, he's like, "Oh, you're either trading none or both." Yeah, absolutely, I, he's like, "I'm 36 years old. I'm I'm trying to win. You know, if this isn't the place that's going to be that, if we're seeing St. Louis build around young talent and and know that that window isn't going to open for a couple more years, he's gone too. So the Cardinals, everything that they have said is, we're going to build and find pitching so that we can compete with the the offense that we have established in 2024. I have no reason to believe that that has changed, and I do believe that if uh, it, there comes such a time that it does change, then the conversations will be very fascinating to listen to, so you will not want to miss any big shows over the week that follows a Arenado to the Dodgers trade. Is Definitely what not. 875-KTGR, 573-875-5847. What do you think about the, the report in the L.A. Times that the Dodgers have engaged in talks with the St. Louis Cardinals Try to acquire Nolan Arenado. Let's go to old Jay here on the KTGR hotline. Old Jay, how are you? If I'm Mosaic and I get text that says Arenado question mark, I'm like, okay, I want your number two first starter, I want your number one starter, and I want your five best pitching prospects, and I'll consider it. That I mean, honestly, if, if somebody's going after that big of a piece of the Cardinals, 
Mosaic's going, okay, I want a King's Ransom because that's the only way that I would think about it. Because, in all honesty, if you look at the uh, Cardinals' offensive numbers, they're really high. Their pitching numbers are horrible. So I would actually entertain a a trade for Arnado if it came back with pitching that would help for next year and in the future. There's no other ways around it. Appreciate the call, Jay, here on the big show, KTGR at KTGR.com. He's right about the Cardinals stuff. The Mizzou stuff was funny from old Jay. He's right yeah. about Mosaic. Again, that's kind of what I painted was, listen, if the Dodgers are going to go over the moon – and go insane with the offers. And, and maybe like Miguel Vargas is a young hitting prospect. Uh, I think he's at the big leagues uh, level this year. Throw in four or five top 100 pitching prospects and Vargas to take the place of Arenado in the lineup or whatever you might say. And then the Cardinals would have to... But we're talking about stuff that if you're playing MLB The Show, the game, like the, de- the developers of the game, come to your house and say, hey, stop trying to do these trades on our game you're making a mockery of things. <laughs> like, those trades don't even get accepted in video games. So I don't legitimately see an avenue toward it. And I think it can just be as simple as, hey, Arnado has no reason to de- to say, no, I would never waive my no-trade clause. I want to be a Cardinal forever during a season where his lead baseball executive that runs his team didn't bother to, to put a pitching staff on the field this year. Like, if I'm Nolan Arenado, I am feeding the beast as much as I can because I know that John mozalock has got a Twitter burner and he's going to see it somehow or another. And so I don't, I don't mind that at all. Arenado, if he's got that leverage, he should flex it and use it. But I don't think that means he's going somewhere, Andy. Jack Flaherty, however, should probably be a Dodger by the end of the week. Yeah, you think so? No, it's... no doubt in my mind that <laughs> yes. here Jordan Montgomery should be a Dodger by the end of the week. Hey, You're they've right. got these pitching. I'd send Hicks. I send all three of them for like one of their good pitching prospects. That's fine. You got to get somebody that you feel like, if you're John Mosley, like you can plug into your rotation for 2024. And you've got Michaelis, you've got Matt suddenly coming along and looking like, like if he's your number four, Andy, next year, yeah. Steven Matt's are like, uh, hopefully your number five. Then you go, okay, add a really good quality young pitcher from the Dodgers by trading away these short term assets and then sign Aaron Nola or whatever, you, you know, Marcus Stroman, you get a dude. In the off season, you actually spend some money like other teams do, and suddenly the rotation looks different. Like I think there's a world in which that is the line the Cardinals need to be focusing on. It's probably the Dodgers have engaged the Cardinals on trade talks involving Arenado. Every time they bring up Arenado's name, the Cardinals try to redirect it back to the short-term pitchers that they have. Right. But technically, those conversations are still ongoing. Like the Dodgers will need to at some point. Offer their final and best. Mosellac never never needs to even say anything. He never needs to say, "Oh, it's getting interesting." Like when I do fantasy football trades, I kind of I want to throw you a little bit of a nugget to know you're on the right trail. But sometimes you're asking for my Justin Jefferson, and I'm just not going. There's nothing you can tell me that's going to compel me to trade him. Yeah. And so that needs to be John Mosellac with Arenado until the Dodgers offer the entire franchise, and then he might say, "Okay, now it's getting interesting." But otherwise redirect the conversation. Hey, what do you think of Jack Flaherty? Can I interest you in a Jordan Montgomery? Because those are the guys that need to move before August 1st. Let us know what you think, Cardinal fans. 875-5847 here. It's 521 on the big show talking uh, Cardinals and trade possibilities. Jim with us now on the KTGR Hotline. Jim, how are you? Tell you what, if if it goes through with Aeronado, it reminds me of the trade for Steve Carlton, and that's about all I'll say if you remember that one. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, appreciate the call, Jim, here on the Big Show, KTG. I don't remember point. that one, but I have read about it. <laughs> and I know yes. that it My did not pan out for the Cardinals. I wasn't on this earth yet. But, yeah, I, I mean, listen, there is a world in which they trade more pitching prospects than I expect, and, like, a deal happens. But for Mosellock to say, hey, we just felt we had to do it because we didn't have the pitching, that would totally throw right under the bus everything that they've been saying about, well, we really thought we did our, our level best to make sure we had the pitching. We got it wrong, and so now we're going to fix it and build it back right using some of these short-term assets that are expiring contracts at this deadline in order to win in 2024 with Arenado, with Goldschmidt. If they do it differently than that, I just don't think there's a spin you can put on it that I'm going to buy, even though there will be a world in which you could field a somewhat competent roster next year. That's not the way you win World Series, is to trade away Nolan Arenado in his prime. No.
Absolutely not. So, I, Andy, what's your percentage? I'm going to say before today I was 0%. Like you said, 0.0. Today I'm 0.001% that the trade happens, uh, but that Arenado is more than likely still a Cardinal, and this is just that little extra push when Arenado gets reached out to by a reporter and he has no reason to de- deny, no, I'm a Cardinal for life. He doesn't have any reason to say that, and so that's what we're seeing play out in the L.A. Times. It's not much more significant than that. My percentage is like 0.02. Okay, a little like more that. than me. Uh-oh. Yeah, a little bit more. Here's Panic what. Here's meter. my question. What's more likely? Uh, Cardinals trade Nolan Arenado uh, to the Dodgers at this trade deadline, or Mizzou goes back to the Big 12? Well, what's more likely? They're both oh my under gosh. like... Zero point oh zero one. Like, That's such a good Andy is, Bravo. Like that, that is, is a good the, question. They're both like a mere decimal points, like minuscule. And this is really going to tell you how strongly I feel about the Mizzou thing. Yeah. It is more likely the Cardinals trade R and I. I actually agree. Mizzou going I agree back with to the that. Big Twelve. Yes, I agree. It's more likely the it's more likely the Cardinals trade Arenado at this deadline for Max Muncie only. Than it is <laughs> oh, wow. for Mizzou to go back to oh. the Big Twelve. <laughs> that is never happening. <laughs> I'd ever. say burn down the franchise if that happens. Like, and geez. burn burn down the exactly yeah, burn down burn, the organization yeah, yeah. if the if Mizzou goes back to the Big Twelve. Right, I couldn't yeah. agree more. Gosh, man. I'm glad you did that. That's uh, such th- a good th- parallel. That's just both of them put them out of your mind.